What's up everyone, my name is 4 Extraordinaire, and we are here for another Humankind video. This time we're exploring some of the potential, really, this huge potential with the Humankind map editor, uh, wherein you can create your own maps to your heart's content. And this user by the name of Oscar3005 has created a fantastic uh, huge Earth map for the Humankind Map Maker Contest. Uh, and there are some fantastic rewards where you can win up to like a I think like a thousand dollar PC or something that was custom built by Intel in the humankind dev team. So if you're interested in making maps um, and you want to be rewarded for that, go check that out. But anyhow, we are here today to get to the point and discuss this huge uh, earth map. And I want to get into it right with the map editor. Um, and also, if you guys are interested in seeing me play this map, like with a let's play, please let me know too, because I'd love to try out something new with humankind. So now we're actually in game and we have quite a lot to dissect because thankfully the creator has been faithful to actual wonder placements. We can see Mount Urima here, for example, um, has been placed faithfully um, in the to the north of the Amazon. And then we have the actual Amazon, which is absolutely massive. Um, it looks like it takes up almost two whole regions and I love to see this river system and the amount of detail kind of put into it. That would be amazing to start on, especially with the Olmecs or the Harappans. We also have the Galapagos over here. We have have Mexico, which I really, really love in Central America to a greater whole. Really like the details with the topography. Northern Mexico can be quite mountainous. And I also like the detail given to the Yucatan. Um, fairly flat, though. I don't know what this um, hilly region is um, over here, but we do have some mountains to the west. And we also have Cuba, Haiti, and then we have the southern United, United States and the, cent the center of the United States uh, leading into the Midwest. I will have to complain, though, as someone that does live in the Midwest, I find that it gets too, too flat um, fairly soon. I do not like how big the Great Plains are, though that might just be a personal decision. I will have to say that Oscar has knocked the um, West Coast out of the park, kind of really... Um, put in great detail in the, into the Rocky Mountains, and then especially with northern Mexico and the arid regions there. One of the big difficulties that working with a map editor um, and a specific map size kind of entails is trying to portray some of the smaller continents accurately, or some of the smaller land masses, kind of like with Europe. And Civ 6 also had this problem, but as Europe is a lot smaller than some of the other continents, like Africa, just look how big Africa is compared to Europe, you are ine inevitably going to have some issues kind of portraying Europe a uh, accurately. Uh, for example, we can see that Greece here is kind of a bit of a blob. Um, I know the author probably worked really hard to try to portray Greek Greece accurately with the um, resources he had, but as Greece is an archipelago and it's fairly small compared to um, areas like Africa and even the Middle East, it's going to be very hard to kind of portray that accurately with all these small archipelagos and then the very odd um, shape of Greece itself. So kind of those, in Spain too, you can see here, it's just kind of those little details here and there that kind of... Um, make some of the smaller regions more painful to look at. But again, he's knocked some of the larger regions like Africa way out of the park. And this is the most voted map on for the map editor contest, by the way. It has like an overwhelming 58 votes. So again, very, very detailed map. I'm loving some of the regions like Madagascar, uh, Southern Africa, the Sahel, just so much detail, except for this kind of flat part here, though it's kind of hard to detail the savannah well. There's also some great effort put into the Congo region we see here. Uh, I think this is the Democratic Republic of Cong Congo, just roughly speaking, a lot of effort put into the rivers and the terrain here. And then with um, Western Africa or Southwestern Africa, we can see here there's also um, some jungle to represent that region accurately. And then I just have to say, again, without kind of overstaying my welcome, I really do love the Amazon, some of the details even put into the Andes. And I think the author has portrayed um, some of the larger continents very well. I just have a little... A little bit of complaints here and there with the portrayal of smaller regions that that's just again very very hard to capture in detail especially uh, islands like Corsica and Sardinia and um, Greece which we kind of already touched on so thank you guys again so much for watching this has just been a very brief overview I'll put the link um, to the map itself in the description of the video below and uh, I hope you guys also check out the map and again if you want to see me actually play on this map specifically uh, please let me know but again thank you guys for watching this has been 4 Extraordinaire and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day all right Peace.